Okay, basically, you need a PSP, obviously. You need to buy... This one works. I've heard a lot about the 5-pin thing, but this works. A standard USB cord for your PSP, it's like $5. Um, you need blank CDs. Like this. Mine came in this. And iTunes library with songs in it. So, you open iTunes. Come on, freaking iTunes, open. Alright, open this more. And then, there's lots of songs here. So you'd go to, I don't know really how, but you make a playlist somehow. Then you go to your library and you choose all songs you want. Usually you can hold about 20 per CD, so do 20. Put on this playlist. If you have a blank CD and it'll say burn disc right here. Burn disc. Right about there. You click that. It'll burn it. Then take it out. X this out. doesn't matter anymore. Put it back in on Windows Media Player. Go to RIP. I already ripped this, but it'll be just like this, and you'll go to hit right here, start rip. It'll rip it to your library. Now you go to songs, right there. Click that, but I'm already in it. You go all the way down to, most likely if you did what I said, it's going to be unknown album. Then, you right click it, this is 10,000 fish, right click, go down to open file location. Should bring up this, and you can pretty much do anything with this. You can put it. Also, this works for uh, put it in like Windows Movie Maker. You can just drag it pretty much wherever you want from here. So you just make a folder called Music, capitals in your PSP, and put drag and drop them in there. Also, tip: if when you bur rip it, it's gonna say down here. It's gonna say like track one. Play it, name it, and then put it. Then open the file location and move it to your PSP, because that way, um, you'll be able to tell what, uh, songs you have on your PSP. So, that's pretty much it.